The Singapore Armed Forces' largest overseas exercise is deploying the most number of drones in its 35-year history. This includes the largest coordinated swarm yet, being used for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance operations in Exercise Wallaby. They are among some 200 advanced tech systems on trial, which will help soldiers fight smarter, safer and faster. Sheldon Xia reports from the Shoalwater Bay Training Area in Australia. Dozens of drones fill the sky, surveying a target zone. And one suspicious activity is spotted. Another type of drone zooms in for a closer look. Over 100 drones will log 560 flight hours while being trialled and evaluated this year. For the first time ever, Exercise Wallaby will also feature what's called a mothership drone. That's this bigger set over here that's able to run for a few hours at one go and also launch smaller drones like the one I have in my hand to do surveillance closer to the ground. It's also able to swap out for different camera types to survey at whichever angles needed. The images collected by the drones also generate real-time updated information. This enables locations to be 3D mapped, allowing troops to familiarise themselves with every possible corner. The army is moving towards drones because we want to protect the lives of our soldiers, which are our most important assets. So by using drones, not only do our, are our soldiers able to be at the back lines and getting the drones to op do the operations at the front, we also get to be able to use these drones to conduct our operations more effectively and efficiently. One operator can handle up to 200 drones. New AI algorithms also make it easier to detect and identify targets. Engineers from the Defence Science and Technology Agency are also on hand to make updates on the spot. Our priority is to develop technologies that meet the SAF evolving operational needs, focusing on areas like soldier-friendly usability, interoperability across systems, and resilience under context, uh, contested conditions. We are also addressing real challenges such as uh, intermittent and disrupted communications, slow information flow, high cognitive load on operators so that the troops can make faster, better decisions and coordinate more effectively. The technology can now be controlled using laptops and handheld devices. Next, the SEF is exploring mobile phone compatibility through a collaboration with local gaming company Razer.